So hi guys, today we're going to see about how to create a Flask application which has an asynchronous task assignment with Celery and we're going to communicate the task with RabbitMQ and save all the caching in Redis. What I've created here is a complete Dockerized application which is fully connected with all those four functionalities and then you can just run it with a simple docker compose up command. So I'll just brief you through the application on what it is capable of. So this is a project source code and then you just go there and hold on a second. So once your docker is running, you go ahead and build and compose your compose the docker file. Since I've already built it, it'll be very pretty fast. So as you can see, all the four applications are running and are connected to each other. So what this application basically does is you just have to upload an image and then it crops it and then sends sends back the application once the image is ready from the back end. So it's not a major thing on what task it's been running. All we care about is it's running and it's connected and it's working. So as you can see the image was loading for the image was waiting for the background task and then after it was completed we got the cropped image which was displayed in the system. All the login information you can openly see it in a Docker Compose or Docker file. So I'm just gonna stop this container and then we'll go into the code. So this would be a Flask application. So there isn't much that we need to focus on here right now. So it is a normal route method. If you if it's a get get route, we're just gonna give it a index.html template. In that, that is just the simple upload form which which we created. And then once you can use the same route to post the image basically so that it goes and saves the image in a local directory. I did mention that we're gonna use Redis, but not right now. Then we create a task which we send it through RabbitMQ to Celery and then the jobs information is stored in a variable called job and then we send the job ID to the front end download HTML file. In there you can see the, uh, there's an Ajax request to slash progress uh, which is present underneath over here which basically tells you how far the job is done or is a job completely over. When it's completely over, the progress bar will go to the full and then you will be redacted to a different image per se. So how we achieve that is basically another Ajax request where I send a request to forward slash result.png and I send a job ID along with it so that the output of that particular image will be stored in a file called in a, in a data and then I'm going to append it to an image source and then it's just going to overwrite the image property in the HTML and you're just going to see the output. That's about the application part is so now we're going to go to the salary so in salary in order to use the rabbit and queue which has been hosted by the docker we need to change this from localhost or whatever you're going to type it to rabbit which is the name of the service which we are making in the docker compose file so before we come to docker compose that's how you create a connection basically and then you have to st sterilize the result so these are all just normal python code which you can just type in anything you want over here and then now we're going to now we're gonna to go to Docker file, which I'm not doing anything much. It's like very self-explanatory. It's creating a from a Python image, which is adding the requirements, and then copying all the code into the container, and then installing the dependencies, and that's about all we do. So we're gonna use this image building process to run two different images. One is Celery, and one is Flask. Then we're going to go to Docker Compose. So I'm gonna use a Docker Compose version three. So as you can see, I've created four different servers. We we need four different servers. Web is basically the Flask and Worker is basically the salary. First, we're gonna create a Redis image, which is very easy. It is already available in Docker Hub. So I'm gonna use those images and just give it a name Redis. And then same with RabbitMQ, image is already available in Docker Hub. So we're gonna go use it. And then in order to create a username and password, we're gonna uh, set it with an environment variable. I'm going to just keep it very simple admin and my pass. So that would be the same thing which you're going to use when connecting the, all your application together. So as you can see, the same admin and my pass will be in the broker URL. After you do that, you just go ahead and go for the Flask application. Flask application, as you said, we're going to use the same image for Flask and Celery. So I'm going to just go ahead and use the same, in, build the same image and then run a different command so that the Flask is, is ran in a container and Celery is run a different container. So that's what I'm going to do. So for that, I'm using a normal shell script. So run web has nothing else like apart from just going into the application and typing in python dot app dot py. Same with salary, how you run a salary task, salary minus a task worker, log level info. Those are like the same commands. I could have just put it over here, but then I just felt like maybe if, I, if that's like something more involved, I can just use the 
shell script. So uh, apart from that, the worker nodes are interlinked and make sure the links are pretty correct and the ports are exposed properly. That's two volumes for apps. And then I'm just going to make sure the rabbit is built before the worker is built so that by using the depends on command. That's about the Docker compose command. I have an article below, so if you want to go through it, go through it. If you want to contribute to this project, just send me a pull request. I'll make, I'll merge it together. That's it, guys. See you next time.